Hello and welcome to the Workbench Theater. Today I'm going to test out how strong these uh, pump wedges actually are. I've come across a couple of jobs where I needed them and uh, I didn't have them, like uh, moving heavy equipment or moving furniture, things like that. I was recently uh, redoing my own kitchen and I had to level out the, uh, the cabinets and I could have used these but I didn't have them so I had to uh, find another way. Anyway, I bought these on uh, AliExpress and I'm going to, uh, to try a couple of different things uh, to see how strong these things actually are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, screw together two pieces of wood uh, with one of these in between and I'll just see if I can break the wood apart by just uh, using it with the, uh, with the pump valve. Let's put a pump wedge in between. So now the question is, how many screws do I have to put in here to make it like a, a decent test? Or do I just try it with a couple and then add more? Nah. So, here we go. I think it is pretty funny to see that there's a there is a slight bow in the in the wood, which given the short distance means that there is quite a bit of pressure forming under here. So yeah. So now what? Um, I think I'll just take out these screws and see what happens then. Maybe it can maybe I can get some air in there if I remove these screws. It is getting in there, but still not enough. Well, this doesn't mean that uh, the wedge itself isn't strong enough to be able to split the wood apart. It's just that I can't get enough pressure on this, uh, on this little pump to uh, to make it happen okay so I've got two planks which isn't really a fair test because uh, the pieces of wood I had were laminated much stronger hardwood uh, and this is just a, I don't know uh, just a pine um, soft wood so it's not a fair test but hey let's just see what happens So I would say that it's uh, clamped in there pretty good. Um, close up the valve and uh, let's see what happens. Again, it's it's creating a very slight bowing effect, but it's, it's not doing anything. It's not breaking it apart. in between ah, can you hear it it's cracking Oh, 
So it is possible to get a, a screw out of there. Oh, I, that startled me a bit. So, um, yeah. But again, it's not what I expected. I would certainly have thought the, the wood would split right about there, but it didn't. It just pulled out the screw. Okay, so basically you can't really break a piece of wood with a pump wedge, although I still don't now know how much force it is creating on there. Um, so I should get a scale. Okay, look at this magnificent scale. It's the... Well, for starters, it's really manly. No, I don't care. So it's at zero right now, kilograms. I'm putting my goggles on. So let's see what kind of uh, pressure this will generate. Apparently, it's better at reading uh, the weight on the edge. If I just move it to this side, then it might pick up on the edge of the scale a bit more, but... Ah, look at that! Weird! I'm learning so much here. I'm at over a hundred kilos, kilograms. I think it's even exponentially, so I could count, like, okay, let's say, so it's at Right now it's at, at zero. So if I pump it once, oh, I need to close the valve of course. If I pump it once it's about 10 kilograms. If I pump it twice it's already going to 30 kilograms. Twice. Three times 50, almost 70, 85, so it's 15, under another 15 so there's about 15 to 20 kilograms of pressure coming in there every pump that would mean 15 it's at 110 125 140 155 and now I'm starting to uh, notice that I can't press it in anymore, so that's 155, give or take. Maybe a little bit more. 155, 160. I don't know if you agree with my logic, but I just found out that every pump gives me about 15 kilograms. So, 150, 160 kilograms total before you can't uh, squeeze it anymore. Yeah, I'll buy that.
I think that's uh, that's fair for a simple pump wedge. Okay, so that was my uh, my first experiment, basically um, trying to um, to see uh, first of all if I could break the wood apart, which I couldn't, uh, and secondly, uh, how much pressure does this thing actually generate? Now I don't have the equipment or anything like that. I got this beat up old scale, uh, but as I said, I think. Um, I can safely say that it is creating about 150, 160 kilograms of force. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's quite a lot for such a small uh, for such a small tool by just pressing air into it with your with your hand. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Um, see you next time.